Porto, Portugal, SUV and truck mania is real, just ask the 63% of American buyers who opted for the high riding vehicles last year but there has been a recent groundswell of alternative options in the burdening wagon segment sure, there are lower end wagons such as the tried and true Subaru Outback, $25,895 and the new kid on the block Volkswagen Golf Sport Wagon. $21,580 by the 2018 Jaguar XFS Sport Brake competes more closely with the stalwart Mercedes-Benz E400 $64,045 and the stylish Volvo V90 Cross Country $52,300. This begs the nagging question, could wagons become a serious thing in the States? We spent a day bombing through Portuguese backroads to find out how the Sport Brake fares among its niche competitive set. The 2018 Sport Brake is a wagonized version of the second gen XF Sudan that arrived in 2016 while the first gen model only offered a wagon variant for the European market. The new Sport Brake is a global vehicle that brings a more streamlined, Aluminum intensive architecture to the table and finally gives American wagon lovers the jag they've been craving. First off, the essential reason we're here, the cargo area activate the power tailgate, which uses a one-piece composite tailgate, just like the F-Pace and the opening reveals a flat surface on all sides with 31.7 cubic feet of storage fold the rear seats down, and volume expands to a considerable 69.7, an increase of 12.6 and 38.4 cubic feet, respectively for comparison, the Volvo V90 Cross Country offers 19.8-53.9 cubic feet, and the Mercedes-Benz E400 wagon has 35.0-64.0 cubic feet. Folding the Sport Brake's rear seats down produces a nice, flat expanse for cargo, with no obtrusive humps or bumps on the side standard rear air suspension keeps things level when loaded up onward to the front seats, where the cabin brings the XF's familiar design with the dashboard rimmed in a curved ribbon of wood veneer, a pleasant touch that offsets the otherwise blase textured aluminum bits on the dash and shifter surround of course. There's the love it or leave it cylindrical shifter that rises from the center console, a confounding bit of design that leaves most PR and DL traditionalists see. So too, is the plastic starter button on the dash, one of the few unsatisfying puzzle pieces in the otherwise agreeably finished interior.